okay this is the icon of lt spice just double click on it it is a red color thing and you can go with file new schematic new workspace will be opened file new schematic new workspace will be opened now this undigate symbol go to this undigate symbol you will have something called voltage okay okay one for carrier signal another for message signal two voltages i am taking one for carrier signal another for message signal okay now what i will do and one more component i will go with in the same and gate symbol if you just scroll in it we will have bv bv another voltage symbol only bv okay it is behavioral voltage source arbitrary behavioral voltage source bv means behavioral voltage source and i am taking that here okay we can write functions so that it will work that is the model it is arbitrary variable and now what i will do take this ground analog okay ground and connect to all the three all three are voltage sources connect to all the three then take this label or what i will do before label i am going to the first voltage right hand symbol will come okay hand symbol will come right click go to advanced first one i am making it carrier signal select the sign okay and it is zero offset zero and amplitude i will give 1 volt same as the previous circuit okay frequency i will give 4000 4 kilohertz or 4000 first one is carrier signal what i am taking go to the second one hand symbol will come right click advanced okay sign then go to this dc offset zero amplitude i will make 0.5 and frequency i will make 400 same to the previous circuit okay 400 frequency and 4000 frequency 400 means message signal second one is message signal first one is carrier signal okay and i will also give labeling this is the label you click on this and here hi capital letters i am putting hi okay you bring it and attach to this node only then it will properly work okay that hi is given to the first voltage as name now again click on the label i am giving lo capital letters lo means low hi means high lo means low give okay just for remembering okay this is label i am attaching to the second voltage first one is high voltage second one is low voltage okay so 4000 is the high uh, high frequency sorry it is high frequency carrier signal it is high frequency 4000 and then low means low frequency 400 okay the second one is message first one is carrier now i will go to the third one and you just uh, double click on this or we will right click okay right click when the hand symbol comes right click then double click on this you will have option for changing this it is a arbitrary behavior voltage we have write function i am writing v of i voltage okay voltage in this high and the star multiplication voltage of the low okay v of high into v of low this is the equation i am writing that will be generated in the third voltage that will be generated in the third voltage okay so v of high into v of low okay that equation will come here i am just multiplying the two signals that is what modulation okay uh, carrier signal into message signal they will be mixed if you want you can also give label for the third one this is the mixture of two mixed signal okay mixed is the label i am creating and i will attach it to the third one okay this knob square color square color it should touch okay square and square you have to put it together only then uh, that label is uh, attached okay now the third one is the output first one carrier second one message third one is the output now what i will do this run symbol is there run symbol this is for simulation click on this and i will give 10 milliseconds okay running the entire thing for 10 milliseconds okay you will have a black window okay for a half of the space black window lower half of the workspace the created circuit or whatever we have created it will come in the lower half upper half we will have the waveform presently black color window now i will select what all waveforms i want i want first the message signal okay i will touch this first message signal low frequency message is coming okay next go to the carrier this red color will come click on that point okay blue color is the carrier high frequency carrier message is second one 
carrier is first one. Now go and click the mixed signal here. Mixed signal. Okay. Now the amplitude modulation, what I showed in the PPT, it is coming. In the PPT, you can see this waveform is coming. Okay, this waveform. Now this is the software, LT Spice. And blue color is the high frequency carrier. Green color is the low frequency message. And red color is the amplitude modulated signal, S of T. Amplitude modulated signal, S of T. Okay. As we go on increasing the mu modulation index, that uh, um, zero also will come. Okay. Some waveform, then zero. Waveform, zero. So that is based on modulation index. Now, what is the modulation index? Amplitude of the message divided by amplitude of the carrier. I have given amplitude of message 0 0.5. Amplitude of the carrier, 1. Okay. 0 0.5 by 1 means half. Half is the modulation index value. Okay, half is the modulation index value. Similarly, you can also uh, measure the measure the modulation index in the um, schematic. This one, P spice, P spice software. Also, we have done A modulation. What is the V max? What is the V min? Okay. Otherwise, we have already given amplitudes in the circuit diagram. No, amplitude 0 0.5 for message and one for the carrier. We have given. So amplitude of message divided by amplitude of carrier is the formula I told you. Okay, AM by AC, modulation index 1 by 2, half. Okay, in both the things we have seen output, P-SPICE as well as LT-SPICE. 